Congrats. You've got an Ingersoll Rand air compressor. With a little bit of care, you can ensure optimal performance. This video is making sure your compressor isn't leaking air during or after operation and what to do if that happens. For this one, you're gonna need an adjustable wrench, combination wrenches, a spray bottle of soapy water, and Teflon tape or thread sealant. We'd also recommend safety glasses, cup-proof gloves, and steel-toed shoes while doing this job. This whole process should take about half an hour. First thing to do is put enough air pressure in the receiver tank that you can check the compressor for signs of an air leak. Shut the compressor off and listen for the hissing sound of air leaking. To be completely sure, spray it down with soapy water and look for bubbling at any leak site. But make sure you don't spray any electrical parts. Check along the tubes, intercooler, tank welds and bungs, drain valve and service valve. Tighten and replace any leaking components or fittings as needed. Now it's important to pay close attention to the pressure switch area for the sound of air leaking. Run the compressor until it reaches maximum pressure, that's 175 PSI. And the unit is gonna make a hissing noise at the pressure switch for several seconds at shutdown. We call this the unloading process and it's a completely normal function in the machine. If the hissing sounds at the unloader valve continue and it drains the air tank pressure down to the point of the unit cycling back on again, then the issue is likely a malfunctioning check valve on the air tank. The check valve is typically located where the discharge tube from the compressor sends the air into the tank. The valve is one way and it's spring loaded. It allows air to enter but closes to keep it in the tank once the compressor shuts off. Look inside the check valve. If the Teflon poppet becomes gummed up or the spring is worn down, the check valve will not sit correctly and that allows air to escape from the tank. The escaping air will travel the path of least resistance through the unloader tube and come out at the unloader valve on the pressure switch. The air leaking out is gonna continue until the tank pressure reaches the cutting point. That's 135 PSI. At that point, the compressor turns on to refill the tank. This cycle continues over and over until the problem is corrected. If you figured out the check valve is no good anymore, you can service or replace it pretty easily. Here's how. To start, make sure the compressor is turned off and disconnected from power, and release the air pressure from the tank. Doing this prevents any major damage happening to the unit, your surroundings, and most importantly, you. The check valve on this unit is at the very top of the tank, where the discharge tube from the pump enters the tank. Loosen and remove the discharge tube from the top of the check valve. Then, do the same thing with the unloader tube and safety relief valve from the side ports of the check valve. Remove the check valve and after that, inspect it for wear or debris through the ports on the tube. If necessary, you can replace it with a new part. Install the new part using Teflon tape or thread sealant. Tighten it up and make sure the unloader tube part is lined up correctly. After that, reinstall the safety relief valve using Teflon tape or thread sealant. Then, reattach the unloader tube and discharge the tube into the check valve. Check all your fittings, power the compressor up, and make sure the problem has been corrected. That's it. Hope you continue to enjoy the highly reliable and low maintenance air compressors from Ingersoll Rand, which delivers the right power for your project.